All right. Um, welcome everybody, and welcome back to the Moth Project. The Hawk Moth Project. Uh, always forgetting to put that first thing down. So, um, let's continue with uh, whatever I was doing beforehand. Realizing still that I, that I made a mistake, mis mistake big time, like over here right now, and we're gonna put this back on full screen. Let's see if the calibration is correct. Yeah, the calibration is correct. Pan needs to go back to far. Uh, yeah. Five. There you go. So uh, this is the wing. This is the part of not the wing. And then we're gonna put it. We're gonna we'll go way up here. Get this thing all fixed in. Get it all lit up. So that's the idea. Anyway, that's the idea. So, um, yeah, let's have a little fun, you know, drawing little, little feathers again, and then, you know, realizing what I did wrong last time. What I did wrong was that I actually could have saved my whole progress. And that is, you know, this is why you never go, should erase if you still have that option, but, you know, it happens, it happens. But no worries. I'll get as fast as possible back on track. Yeah. Well, at least that's what my planning is right now. I'm trying to get this thing done. So that we can then continue with the other part, like over here. Instead of, you know, waiting for the whole thing that I drew beforehand. And then, you know, continue. I don't want to rush it. Don't get me wrong here. I don't want to rush it, but you know, sometimes when you make mistakes, you need to deal with the consequences. So I'm trying to do my my very best upon uh, getting this thing this thing done. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Just drawing, just drawing the uh, uh amount of feathers back on, you know, no need to worry about uh, using the eraser because I'm using a lot of different layer. No, I did not use it on a different layer, I'm so stupid, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So let's continue then and then put this back on a different layer. So yeah, um, this is very, very scary to do, but don't worry. I need, I still need to have both on them. So I still need them both, but I just need to remember that I don't, I made no mistakes, and now I can just use the eraser without damaging this part of it. So that's good to know. That's why I'm doing it, but you know, not every single time I can do it, but now I can. So. Almost went wrong. Almost drew it all again on the different layer, but now I don't need to worry about it because of the uh, uh, how do you say? It's not a big deal because it's still on the same wing, so that's a good thing to do. So gladly I did that. Uh, gladly I did that. So when all of this is done, you know. When all of this beautiful winging part is all done, I'm gonna be very happy about it. Because that means that, uh, you know, I'm done with one wing. And then I need to continue drawing the rest of the wings, but, you know, that all will come sooner or later. Eh. No. I'd rather not do. Not do. So, yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna, you know, draw, I'll continue drawing, so, just drawing little feathers, it's nothing to be bragging about anyway, it's like, what you do today? Well, I did the same thing as I always do, drawing feathers, you know, people are like, wait, what? Why are you drawing feathers all day? And I'm like, well, I'm doing it every day because I need to. 
I cannot do it without it, you know. I cannot have a wing without feathers if the bird is a bird, you know. Well, you could have a you could have bat wings on a bird. That's that's legit, but it is uh not the thing that I want. It's not the thing that we want. It's not the thing that the person wants, you know. The person doesn't want it. The person that you know wants this uh, wants this work doesn't want to have it on bad wings. So yes, I will put no bad in it. I will not put a bad in it. I only will put I only will put moth and hawk into it. That's why it's called a hawk moth. Duh. Don't be smart. Just be smart. Eh, that's the same, but yet different you know you need to you need to realize like well if you draw a hawk moth and you draw it like a literal on a lit lit literal sense ah uh, jeez louise words um you need to realize that sometimes you know words can be confusing like you know if you would go for a spitting cobra, yes. Is this cobra dangerous? Yes, it's very dangerous indeed. But, what is it? Well, it's a spitting cobra. Alright, so what does it do? Well, it spits venom. Okay, so why should we be afraid of it? Well, it spits venom towards your eyes all the time. It is a very good. It's a very good mark m marksman at shooting at your eyes. Ah, okay. And why should we care about that? Should we be afraid of it? And I'm like, yes, you should. Why? Um, well, if you get into your eyes, your eyes will dissolve. Your eyes will dis Your eyeballs will dissolve. Wait, what? And then people get very scary because, like, um, excuse me, <laughs> what did you say? Yep. Yeah, um, this. Little snake can spit venom that make your eyes eyeballs dissolve, and then people are like, uh, "Wait, what? 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 What?" And yes, that is true. Also, if you dry up the venom, you can kill every single person with it because that's how toxic it is. So don't worry about it. It's still a it's still a snake with venom. It's only that, if I'm correct. Its bite is not venomous because it spits its venom and cannot inject it. If I'm correct, well, it, that's the thing. Like the venom is very harmless if it bites you, but it is not harmless to your eyes. It's not harmless when it dries up. So you should be still very, very scared about it. But I don't know if I'm cor if I remember the facts correctly. But I know one thing that I remember correctly, and that's that the venom is very scary. Very scary. So, um, you have that, a spitting cobra. What is all? What is also a thing? Uh, ah, yes, a horseshoe crab. So, what does it look like? Does it look like a horseshoe? Yes. According to people that that wear that that have been in contact with horseshoes, you know, it looks like a horseshoe. But you could even make it even better and just make it a literal horseshoe crab, you know, in the form of a horseshoe. So it has already the form of a horseshoe, but it is less of a form of a horseshoe than a crab. So if you then go for even further and then make it like a real horseshoe crab, you know, you can make it even more looking like a horseshoe. So that's how you uh, create stuff. That's how you make things and go on with talking about simple little stuffs in the world, like you know how dangerous people get or how enra uh, how scary creatures are, you know all that stuff is very important so um to realize what I just did was like, what did I do? Well, I did something very easy, and it was actually then. You know, 
I realized that I needed to do something and I needed to have a very decent conversation. Because it's very, it's very eh to not talk when drawing, you know, it's like, what can I do today? Well, if I want to talk to myself, I could do that. I also could talk to you. Yes, both ways are better than just, you know, doing nothing or speaking no words and be just like, hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, yeah, and that's just, you know, my way of uh, liking stuff, having fun, you know. I like to have a decent conversation when I'm talking because it clears up my mind and eventually, you know, it will get me better at, you know, understanding stuff like how did the world work before? apes were born and it's like mm, yes ecosystems and all that stuff so yeah um it's very interesting to just you know daydream about simple things like what happens if i cut out if i cut down this tree what will happen to the what will happen to the environment around me will it grow a new tree well that all depends if the tree is well you know any good? So yeah. Um, no. Did I make a mistake here with drawing feathers? I hope not. Hold your horses. I keep. I kept the. I kept the feather pattern right. Yeah, I kept the feather pattern. Okay, okay. Maybe a little less. No, I kept the feather pattern correct. All right, good, 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 good. All good. All good. So yeah, um, so there are simple things like, you know, like, what will happen if a tree falls down in the woods? Will I ever, will I ever hear it? And then, you know, you possibly say like, hmm, hmm, yes, no, it depends. And then you have these deep conversations with yourself like, hmm, I should really buy a tree right now. And then you know you plant a tree, and then you're satisfied with pl planting the tree in front of your front yard. And then after two uh, two years, your uh, neighbor is gonna be complaining about this tree because you know it grows way too big because you care too much about it. And then you have this whole conversation about this tree. And then you know your neighbor wants to cut it down, order a lawsuit against you. You know, and you're like, well, I just planted the tree because I wanted to think about the tree, and then. Law and then the lawman says like, well, that's not a very good option. You should have you should have considered it with your neighbors. And I'm like, hmm, yes, I should have. And then you know you learn something. Like I should definitely plant a tree again, just to piss off my neighbors. You know, all the all those things. You know, all those very non knowledgeable things. You know, you can you can learn a lot from just you know your past. The future, you know, if you just see what's gonna happen, don't provoke it. Try to shape it. If you want to, sh if you shape the future into your way, that way you will live more happier than you know. If you don't do it, but you also can just don't do it, and then you know you won't live with the consequences of shaping it. Because shaping also creates conflicts and all that stuff, so don't don't think don't think it is easy to shape the world as it should be. Don't think it is easy to shape the world if you would do it. Don't shape the world if you can do it. It's all about, you know, consequences and all the stuff around it. Ugh. The nasty bugger stuff. The big ooze. This is why I always prefer snails, you know, they always don't come on time. They always are like, hmm, I sure really should go to work. And then they are way too late. Why are they too late? Well, because they're snails. They are way too late for work. What do they do as work? Well, um, uh, they work at the recycle bin. Yes, they recycle all organic plants. And and compost that's uh, where snails live they work at a the compost 
But snails are very easy to use, because you know, they're slow and sluggish, but they will get there in time. You just need time. But yeah, so if you ever see something to happen that's gonna be happening, you can go with it with the flow, or you can just be like, eh, I'll ignore it for this time, you know. But eventually it will come back to you, so you still need to do whatever you wanted to do in the first place. So don't worry about anything, just just get on with whatever you were doing anyway. Like, hmm, I like to game today. Well, you have a test tomorrow. And I'm like, hmm, yes, but I want to game today. And then my brain's like, no, you have a test tomorrow. And I'm like, yes, I have a test tomorrow, but I want to game today. And I'm like, hmm, you're not gonna make this easy on me, don't you? And I'm like, yes. I want to te I want to game today, but also I need to learn for my test. So how do I fix that? Well, you could make, you can make like an equal bargain, like, well, one hour of gaming and then two hours of learning. But that's not very equal towards your head. Like, no, 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 that's not equal. And then you realize, like, hmm, yes, it is equal if in 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 your mind it is equal, but not in your head. So, it all it all depends on what you want to do anyway. So if I want to do, for instance, want to learn something, I need to put my mind to it, I need to put my body to it, and I need to put my uh, brain to it. So, my mindset needs to be the same as what I want to com accomplish. My brain needs to be the same as I want to accomplish, because otherwise my brain will be like, ah! Sucker, I'm not gonna follow your rules, you idiot. So yeah, and then your body needs to be the your body needs to also be agreeing like ah yeah sure sure why not, yolo, you know. And then you have the body is always the easiest one to. Uh... But yeah, that's uh, that's normally what you think about you know solving a solution or whatever. You always need to think in multiple ways to solve the solution but eventually the solution will be solved regardless of your impact if you had something to do with it then not but if you don't have to do if you had nothing to do with it it can be solved naturally but then the outcome will be different it can not be that different as the outcome as if you helped but it can be different and sometimes, you know, those changes are not likable at all. And I mean by at all, I mean really at all. So you need to always keep your mind in check, like, should I? Should I be involved in this? In this madness? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? You know? All that stuff. And sometimes, you know, your head is gonna get way too big for it. And then you need to quit it. Like, hmm. Maybe a shutdown for today, you know, because I, I, I think it, I think it too much. Because that's a thing that can happen. You can think too much. So, your possible outcomes are gonna be very easy t to understand, but you're gonna be very hard to resist. Ugh, blah, whatever. I just wanted to have a conversation anyway. I could have started with something way else like that, but you know, it can happen. I wanted to start a conversation and then I'm just talking about stuff that doesn't even that doesn't that is so globally basic. It's like, you know, you're talking about stuff, but you don't talk about stuff, but you talk about stuff. Like it's like uh, you order the pizza but you gain a pie. Like what what? What? Like that. Yeah. Like that. But yes. That's a thing that can happen. You know? Don't be afraid of it. Just let your minds be whatever you do. Like, I'm now drawing feathers. I know I'm drawing feathers and I'm only doing feathers. It's very annoying because, you know, it's only feathers, but... I will get better at it eventually. I just need to get. Uh, 
trying to zoom out for this. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yes. Um, uh, let's see. So how far are we already? Well, we're almost there. Why is this? All right. So I need to go. I need to make it. L well, it is all the same. Wrecking hell. This is hard. But yeah, um, I did not expect this to happen. You know that that I made a mistake once, and then you know I needed to redo it. Otherwise, we would have been way further ahead. But you know, it can happen. It can happen. You know, not everybody has the same. Not everybody can be the same as you know pros are. You know. You can just do whatever you wanted to do in the first place and then just realize like, hmm, I made a mistake, for instance. I need to check something. Hold on. So why is there... I knew it. I knew it and I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So, um, what... The main idea is is that I'm just drawing these things correctly as it should be, and eventually, you know, you will get to the point where you know you don't longer need these um, these parts, these um, feathers, these whatever you call them. You no longer need them, but I just checked on YouTube like, hmm, are you doing alright YouTube? And YouTube is like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm doing fine. And I'm like, lies. And then, you know, you realize that he was lying all along. And you were like, I trusted you. And then, well, the whole dramatic entrance like, you were like a brother to me. And I trusted you. And then all the things go down, you know. But no, YouTube is sometimes a real dick in the ass, you know. It's not my problem, it's more like the problem of whatever is causing it. And I don't mind, but sometimes it gets really annoying. So yeah. So how should I then have these pop-ups, you know? If I ever wanted to actually put pop-ups in these videos, how could I do that? Well, I should then have a key binding setting upon a program that actually causes the pop-ups to appear on the screen. But uh, the main issue with that is that the uh, software has the capability of doing it, but only in URL. So. So I'm to figure out how to do that. But I will once have this mighty key binding of pressing one button and then be like, mm, hello, and then, you know, everything goes well. But until then, no. I will not mess around with pop-ups. They're sometimes very annoying. So are, spon so up, so are sometimes spon sponsorships, you know. You know, if you... If you have like a video and you are like, hmm, I need to do this for two million dollars, yes, and I'm like, no. If you truly want to do a sponsorship, you should do it only if you really, 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 really like them. And why would you do it at them? Well, because that way you will be happy, and then because you're happy about, you know, your sponsorship, and you're doing it because you really like them. It will give a different um, face to the audience instead of, you know, this is my sponsor, hashtag blue 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 blah blue, and then, you know, all the all the mean stuff comes up, all the stuff you already know about, and I'm like, hmm, yes, no, yes, and, 
you know, I think I'm doing really fine right now. You know, there's no need for me to do anything. I'm just drawing to get to the very, very, very start of where we were, like right over here. So I need to get this then, then fixed, but I need to go first to the wings again. Put this on, put this on non-negotiable, so I cannot edit it. And now I need to draw here, and then you know get. So yeah, um, you're probably wondering like what the hell I'm just talking about. I'm like, hmm, I'm looking for something, something to talk about at least. You know, if somebody would ask me how how my day was, I was like, yeah, it's good and all. It's all the same thing anyway. It's all the same rhythm. It's the same thing I need to do. And now with the beautiful lockdown again, it's gonna be great. And I mean it like Oh no, people need to stay at home and I'm like, hmm, yes, at home. The thing that I always do. Home. So yeah. Home is always where the heart is. So I'm always I always like home. It's not the best place, but it is the greatest place because I can do so much there. So yeah, um, I'm just drawing, you know, feathers, so that's what I'm now doing. I'm not doing anything special here, I'm just drawing feathers, so don't mind me, I'm just drawing feathers and doing whatever I wanted to do in the first place, like talking to people. But you know, talking to everybody is like a fun thing to do. Also talking about what your mind is set up like, hmm. What I really think about today, and I'm like, hmm, this is so bad. I normally don't do any, you know, talking when, you know, it's not us, but if I'm in public place, you know, I will shut my mouth because I'm very, very bad with people. And I mean it like, you know, socially, but hey, Blue! Welcome. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I always do like. I like home. It's very really nice and cozy. I always excited to get to get to home. I spent most of my time while working and planning what to write and what to draw. Home is the where what I can do. <laughs> nice. 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 Yeah, I am. I have finished today. I have finished. Uh, well, not finished, but I'm. Have, I ha I was. I had start. I was started on my draw. Uh, on my uh, writing part. But holy damn, that's. It's very difficult to write. Ugh. I even had to use uh, Dunn's um, book. He wrote it down to see how to go for reference. To see how the uh, negotiations go with people and how people talk, because it's really difficult for me to write down a decent story without, you know, no talking. But I need to know how to do it right, so. But I'm trying my very best to do it anyway, so. So yeah, almost there, almost to the top, almost to the top. Oh god, no lagging, please, no lagging, please, thank you. 
No lagging. My mouse is instantly like, ha, 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 let me just lag because I need to calculate everything. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need to calculate anything. Good day. I've been writing comic scripts lately, lately for most of my parts, so going back to prose and pre shot stories, I need. Nice! Nice. Yeah, you know, if I if I wanted to go for a weird situation, uh, if I wanted to do something in a weird situation, uh, let me just r let me just draw a human. You will see that I'm totally out of place. So, I know the feeling when you are trying to do something that you did before, or, well, you transfer to a different kind of style or a different kind of viewpoint, and then you're like, hmm. This is so awkward to do, and well, it is good sometimes to go back to other ways or other things, you know, that you used to do, because you know it develops it develops certain amount of skills which you know then you learned from the other parts that you did. Well, that happens, you know. Getting uh, getting stiff, uh, getting stiff, or getting blocked. You know, it happens sometimes because if I wanted to draw a human, I'm like, uh, where to start? And then most likely I will go begin with the head, and then it's it not great because most likely it's gonna be on the side point of view, so it's gonna be like here's the nose, and then here's the body, and then here no. Is the eye and the nose, and then you have here the mouth, and then you have here the hair, and then you have like, you know, like that. So, yeah, that was way too big eyes, by the way. But uh, I hope you know what I mean. Like, when I say that I cannot draw something, I mean it sometimes because you know, I cannot draw a human correctly, I can draw a humanoid. Yes, that's that's not that difficult. But a human. Whew. Don't let me get started on the faces. I still need to learn that because I really wanted to learn it, but it's really hard. And I mean it. It's really hard for me. Especially in this style. Especially in this style in this type of style, it's really hard to do. With all the details and all that stuff. And you know. I cannot use textures because you know the textures are gonna be more like rimples and then you know you make a person really old and that's not what you want. You wanna make them young and looking. So you'll need to be worry more about colors and all that stuff so like you will be really out of your element if you do that. And we're going back to this and we're gonna lock this. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. I'm learning. Haha. <laughs> So now we're gonna go back here, and I'm gonna go back to what I wanted to do in the first place. Drawing feathers. Yay. Eh, eh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Anime um anime eyes are like really big, you know, and then you know, and then you go for like this. Very cute. Uh, oh, oh. there you go. And you go for the beautiful olive point of view, you know, and then you have this and then you have like zo so, and then you have like this and then you have like a beautiful dolphin look, you know. And then you have a little bit more bigger snow like that. Beautiful. That's how you draw anime. Well, no offense, but that's that's how I draw anime. I totally think it's wrong in my point of view, but if I would ever go back to that kind of point, then you know, I will try it one day, but so far, that's how I can draw cute things. So, 
Yeah, eye size met, but I I think really eye size actually meta in anime because it gives that cute look to it. Not always the bigger eyes are the better, but that just that little bit bigger or that just a little bit more sparkles in the eye, then you know you you get it right. But yeah, if I ever wanted to draw a cute animal, I would I will use big eyes with big, cute, little, beautiful, be and then you go like this, and you have like, meh, and then you have like, beautiful fish, like, hand, and then, you know, so yeah. And the race. <laughs> uh, that's a fun, that's a fun thought to be thinking about, like, how can I draw a cute little animal? And I'm like, yes, my leak has come. So yeah, if I ever want to draw something cute, I think I can do that. I think I can draw something very cute, like Larry. Larry is very cute. He's a very good boy as well. So, uh, so yeah, I would be able to draw cute. I prefer, uh, yeah, I prefer big eyes when I don't mind things looking style uh, styles. It's just uh, when I want to push, uh, when I want to push the realism, then they get uh, tripped up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, I think even Crow should actually draw one day cute anime girls. Let's see how great he's gonna be drawing that. That would be actually quite cool to look at. You know, just to see how he did it, how he thinks it's supposed to be done. Because, you know, if you see different people doing things, then, you know, you know how you do it, then you learn from both ways of doing it. Also, it's very fun to watch, so I don't mind. But yeah, we're almost there. Almost. Almost back again at the place where we were. We could do an anime girl drawing stream together. That would be fun. Yeah! That would be definitely fun. Probably I'm gonna be horribly, horribly, horribly out, uh, outskilled, but uh, yeah, sure. That would be a very fun thing to do. <laughs> Because I think the last time I did draw a human was in 2006, probably? Yeah, probably that's in 2006. Uh, that was a guy with a gun getting pierced by bloody damn earth spikes, so yeah, that it's, uh, that's, uh, that's definitely a 2006 kind of point of view. I wanted to feel the edge, you know, that stuff. But, uh... I can draw that. It's uh, not the best though. I always, I always, I always mess up the, I always mess up the nose. Always mess up the nose. Nose and mouth are like, hmm, yes, pretty much. And then you go for some hair, you know, and then you draw, you draw the eyes here, and then the nose goes like that, and then you lower the nose again. It's a, it's a pain in the ass. But yeah, I would love to do it. Yeah, I would love to do it. I will try my very best upon getting the best cool looking anime girl ever. Even though probably it's gonna be horribly horribly done and I probably will cheat by using masks. Because masks are easy to draw, because I love masks. Booga booga booga. Yes. And I'm oh no. Very spooky indeed. So yeah. So funny when I'm trying to zoom when I'm zoomed in, I even can just doodle. It's so funny. It's so funny to draw just so many stuff and then be like, hmm, yes. Uh, it's so funny to draw just useless piece of junk on the, on the drawing, 
when I'm like, hmm, I need this thought out. Yes. How to do that? Well, I have this beautiful, beautiful place where I can put it and then erase it again after I'm done. Ah, <sighs> this is so much fun, actually. You know, just drawing it. Uh, drawing in general is so much fun. You can do everything with it. It's like you can clear your mind with it. You can clear things with it. You can watch other people do it and then you have inspiration. You can watch other people do it and then you can see if things are, if you like the way they draw. You can adapt to their style if you want to. You can learn from it. You can, it can be used for education. It can be used to. Uh, identification it can be used for all kind of purposes it can be record for recording history it can be it can be used for actually drawing is a lot drawing is like oh drawing it possesses so much knowledge do I want it to like this no because I want to actually go for here I need to have this ball I need to pull it. I need to make it big. I need to make it big. I don't need to cut it down. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good. Ah, well, I need to put it back on. <laughs> well, that's still not what I want, but at least I have now my secure place placement so I can now put this here and now I need to put it right over here yes yes there you go now for the hard part this is gonna be a difficult one and why is this gonna be difficult is because of the um part that I'm gonna be doing and that's gonna be like this little stripes little stripes all around the little stripes up and down it goes around and it's gonna be striping down stripe 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 it's gonna be a stripe 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 there you go so did a stripe it should be fine is it bull enough no. Da! You, 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 you. You are so mean. You're such a meany boy. This is why I had the problems in the first place as well, because of the stripes. Sometimes can e get uh can cause a little trouble here. So hold your horses. Oh, and then remove it right there. And just casually remove it so that I'm a little bit done. Right there. And now, just to get everything back on track, I need to just draw again the bubbles. Now, my. Come on, get back on track. Big bubbles then? Is big bubbles enough? Because I need to move over I need to have here the ball in them. So now should be working fine. Alright, uh I can actually keep it like this if I want to, but oh boy, here it goes for nothing again. Stripe, 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 stripe. Come on.
This should work. I think it will. Oh no, it does not work. Mm. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna move it like this then. I'm gonna keep it like this then because otherwise it would not make any sense. This should be better then. This way I did not did I erase everything? No, I did not. I should then go back to this one and then go back again and then now I'm correct. I can now erase this part and then yes. There we go. Now it should be working. Sweet. Oh bugger me. There you go. Now it should be working. Now it should be working. So now I have a round one, right? I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's round. All right. That's very important. <laughs> that things are round. Otherwise, it would not be very handy dandy. Uh, zoom in. It's a shame that I didn't. I, it's a shame that I'm not very good at programming uh, this pencil. Otherwise, I would have put the. Uh, otherwise, I would have the zoom in and zoom out button right here on the keyboard or on the on the toggle. Or I should actually have a. I think I actually need a a wireless little keyboard with only shortcuts of numbers so that I can then program them to put a zoom in and zoom out on the left side of my screen like zoom in zoom out because now I have my uh, keyboard right on the left side and I'm left handed so that doesn't work <laughs> left handed being left handed and using a left and using the pencil on the left on the left side is like hmm you know, I constantly need to, you know, put my other hand, not cross wordy, that's not very handy dandy, so I think I need to do that, otherwise uh, things are not going to be very nice. So, you know, it happens, it happens. Yeah, my tablet has keys and are hotkeys, but make make things go way faster, yeah! But I cannot get access to my hotkeys because of the hotkeys are not in my direction of my right hand. It's very annoying that I am not right handed. Because, you know, normally if I would be right handed I would not be I would be very easily um if I would be right handed I would have have the perfect setup for this. The only way to do this is to change around the uh desktop and the tablet's placement, but I rather don't want to do that because that place is not very handy dandy for the tablet itself. It has too little room for it. And I don't want to put it on a little table because, you know, tables are easily knocked over. And also I need to then crouch my back on... <gasps> no, 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 go black, go black, yes, there you go. Oh, almost had a almost had a problem there. Almost saving very important. Never forget to save. Yes, very important. If we don't save, then uh, everything here is every progress is lost. So if I wanted to draw on this, I can't. It says like, no, this layer is locked. So this is a little reminder for myself, like, where am I? What am I doing? You know, all that stuff, like. So yeah, um But yeah, I would love to uh draw with you uh anime girls if you want blue. I don't mind. It would be a very fun thing to do, a very fun exercise, to say the least. Uh 
Let's see. Let's see. Mm. All these feathers are so easily drawn. And then you realize, like, hmm, what am I missing? And then you realize, like, oh, yes, I've got that. Oh, almost there. Almost. Almost at the bu almost at the second part of the wing. Woo! So close. But yet so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. That's a joke. Well, I'm not good at jokes, but... If it was a joke, then it is a joke. In my book. Even though it is very dry. Or as solid as a rock. Come on. You can do this. You can do this height. I believe you. I believe in you, Fedas. I believe in you that you can do this. I totally believe in you that you can create the illusion of a wing with your texture. I believe in you. Just believe. Just believe. Come on. Come on. As long as nothing wacky is going on, and I'm fine today. Alright. That's a thing. Now I need to just go... The funny thing is actually that, uh, because I'm left-handed, uh, the my preferred way of doing things is going from up to down, instead of going from down to up with drawing because of the amount of uh, hand gestures I need to do but I also remember that um, because of all this mini 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 skill uh, drawing like everything is here hand drawn my hand is gonna get very 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 tired soon it doesn't matter really it doesn't really matter that it's all gonna be very, very, very um, tired soon because it's almost 50, it's almost one hour in, but you know, I know that once this is done, I will quit today. That's like, you know, instant, like, yeah, quitting today, yeah, sure, you know, but I uh, know, thank you. So yeah, um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there eventually. Just, just a little more. Just a tiny little more, and then I'm done. Aha! And then I can celebrate, and then continue gaming or something like that, or watch done stream or whatever, whatever stream I want. I will be stream if I want to re re-see it. Ugh. Holy hell, man. I don't know if you saw it, Blue, but uh, the uh, the pictures that LD showed today on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm very close. I'm getting very close towards my uh, end goal here. Very go close to the end goal. Almost there with the finish line. And wait for that. He scores. Yeah. Well close enough and uh, now I need to just go for a little there you go I can go for this right yeah I can go for this nice alright let's let's take a look no I did not abru abruptly disconnected it nice then we're gonna go for ears and eyes This is still out of position, but it doesn't matter. I need to see if the wings is correct. Now I need to go to the wings, and I need to erase one single feather. Now, let's go. Like that. And why I'm doing this is because of the pointy pointiness of it. 
it doesn't make sense to the uh, rings. I've dropped out of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Um well, I saw these I saw these uh, I saw these pictures of what he showed on his stream and I was like how is this looking well? How is this considered art? I'm like, oh no, thank you. I almost had to wash my eyes, you know, but I do always have a spare of eyeballs laying around. So that doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Well, I can continue if I want to, but um, just give me one second. I need to, I need to have some water and then I'll uh, continue. Yeah, that problem. The fixed art was really like, uh, all right, you do you, you do me. It's very interesting indeed. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's see, where am I? I am here. Wings, continue. So now I can continue here. Good. You do you, you do me. I saw, uh, did, 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 you know, that sound. That kind of song it is, but I'm not gonna be singing. I'm terrible at singing. But yeah, those things were interesting indeed. Those things were not really comfortable to look at. Let's say the least. They were not very stylish. They had a very ugly kind of style to them. I didn't like the color screen, uh, color schemes they used. It was very messy, and most of the aspects of how do you say? Uh, how do you say this? Um, the uh, damn, this is so hard to tell, tell in English. Um. The form they used, the uh, proportions they used, the so the co the coloration, the proportion, and the look in general was not very nice to look at. And I'm gonna say it very. I'm gonna say it not very nice. I mean something else with it, but you know I'm not gonna be saying that. Oh hell no. But yeah, that was some uh, interesting pictures then at that stream. Holy hell, that was some interesting pictures. Almost um, had to be like, yeah, all right. So this is art now. Great, great. So yeah. But anyway, I'm just been continuing here with the drawing a little bit. My hand is not that very tired. It, it is getting tired, but I'm not gonna be putting it. I'm not gonna put it over the edge. So I'm gonna finish off this, and then I will call it a day, I guess. Ah, yes. I need to figure out how to. Do. Oof, geez, this is gonna be a difficult one, isn't it? Yep, it is. So. Also, the new uh, style that they're gonna be using for the uh, new uh, MCU uh, Marvel, I think, uh, whatever new comic uh, comic book that's gonna be coming out. I don't like the style of how they drew the characters in it. It's like, eh. it's a little bit meh, but that's just me, probably. Come on. I 
I don't know if I can actually use a stamp on this. Uh, no, I cannot. It's only circles and squares, so no. Soften now. No, no. Brush tap. Pattern texture strength. No. No. You cannot actually uh, change up the texture there. All right, that uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I was seeing if I can actually add a texture towards the, the towards the pencil, but I cannot. So um, the brushes is still gonna be like one simple pencil part, so it's not gonna be uh, texture above above texture above texture. So that's the thing. But yeah, eventually uh, things will get better. Also, this will look, if you can now like see again, it's like, hmm, if I do no texture, so I will only leave a blank, I will get this. But if I will use texture and then I will add this, I will gain a far better looking version of it. And now you can already see where I'm going with it. So. It's gonna be more like an approach of the, um, how you say, the approach of a Dimitra, a Dimitron, I think it is gonna be called, a uh, sale of, uh, now yeah, whatever, I will go for Spinosaurus then because that's the easy one to complain about, Spino. The sale of a spino, yes, the spine, yes, thank you for the spine. There you go, that's 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 more like it. Ah, there it there it is, the Dimitron. Ah, there it is. Oh, I need this. I need this. Yes, the thing that I need to talk about. This this big boy. This nasty. Come on, get to that. No, there you go. Dimitron, there you go. Eh, can I not? All right, fine. No, no, I will not. So this is the thing that I'm talking about: the uh, sill, the spines. I'm using the spines of the well wings. So I'm using actually uh, furred wings. Uh, I'm using feathered wings, but I'm giving the effect of a spine, a spine kind of a wing. This way, the um, this way it will give a, a unique uh, look towards the wing itself so it is not a full wing it is more like you know like a bat that extends its uh, its wing its wing sill so it's more like a wing sill with tiny feathers in the middle and then big bow and then big hollow bones on the butt, uh, on the out on the uh, outskirts that hold the wing together so it has different mass but it can actually uh, put them into one state and then spread them out again so it can glide very good and also it will give mobility well it, g it will gain better mobility so that's that's the idea anyway what I'm gonna be that's what what I'm going for so I'm not fully using the moth technique but I'm using uh, I'm using I'm using it more like you know I know that this is gonna be I know that this is insect looking uh, vines. So technically, if you could, could if technically, if you would be combine it with a uh, with a hawk, then yes, it would have this kind of unique mechanism in the wings that will create a gliding a gliding way, a gliding way, but also have reject a uh, 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 rejectable of well, uh, re re uh, reclosable uh, wings, so it can spread out like a like a bat, and then fly around. Like a ho uh, like a moth by using the flap motion instead of uh, like like a normal bird, but because it has a lot of uh, grasp upon it, it has a big a big wing. It can actually grasp more wind, so it will be very mobile. Well, that's the idea of it anyway. So yeah, that's my uh, currently. Uh, that's my current uh, idea of the of the of the wings at least. So 
all these big giant feather featherly boys or whatever featherly featherly girls or boys whatever they are called and I switch back to ah, god damn it no 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 there you go I'm not supposed to go and then this is also the so we have this and this and now I need to go for this I need to go back to the this yes thank you I can't. I can't wait to see this concept uh, one to come together. I really hope. Uh, I really like the concept. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. So do I. I'm like. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be realistic upon you know the approach of if you combine a moth with a hawk, then what what should you what what should you use from the moth and what should you use from the hawk, and I'm like, well. Please give me information, and he and Hex give me information upon it. Like, well, you need this, you need to do this, you need to do this, and I'm like, all right, fine. Then uh, I will keep that in mind. And so, you know, if you would just go for regular wings, you know, it's gonna be like, eh, regular wings. You know, it's it's not unique. It's not a unique creature then, because it has just regular wings. Who the hell uses regular wings in these times of years? It's bloody damn fantasy. Use your imagination, you know? Don't use regular wings. That's for, uh, I don't know, people of old age, you know? Back in my days, we used regular wings to fly. Now these old little punks come and beat us in our own terms, you know? That's, uh, that's the, uh, that's the way of I like it, like. If you if you have a magical creature or well at least a magical uh, place and you know you have these regular creatures combined with magical creatures, you should technically have some fun funny ideas. You should put some cool and effort inside of you know lore, and since that these hawk mods are special, they need to be special. So. Who cares if they have wings? But it is way cooler if they had if they have wings in a unique way, like in a way of a moth. <laughs> Regular wings is this economy. <laughs> also, also the benefit of it is like they will be graceful flyers. Also, they they can go very speedy because they can actually re uh, can. Uh, make their wings go folding in and then they can go speedy mode so they will serve as normal wings but they can have like handbrakes upon the wings themselves which can create quite good an advantage upon fast uh, eating uh, getting to prey you know grasping on to it I am still seeing if like you know do I want to go for six kind of claws or do I want to go for two uh, four tiny claws and then two big claw and then two big claws you know I still need to see if the legs are gonna be great so I still need to figure out how I'm gonna make the legs I'm thinking I'm gonna go for an insect kind of point of look to it but I want to have these hooks to the front ones and to the middle section so that they can grasp upon a tree or grasp upon prey and then grabbing it and then you know kill it by rip it, rip, ripping and tearing it with with their back legs because their back legs have these big giant talons on the back of it so it can grasp its it can grab its prey and then rip it apart that's the idea of it like you know because you have this unique mechanic that it is a creature that's also an insect that's also a bird then yeah it should be able to grab another creature and then rip it to shreds with the back legs so I'm thinking about I'm gonna go for that one kind of approach so it's gonna be uh, four small uh, legs that actually are used as hands and then the the back one is gonna be the big giant bird legs that you normally see on a bird which are used to kick and tear open the prey but yeah, that's that's the idea anyway.
Because, you know, if you want to use your beak, yeah, sure, but why do you have your beak? Well, you need to eat your flesh. And what is a very easy way to get access to the flesh of a creature? Well, you rip and tear it open, or you drop it on a rock, or, well, you know, all the time, kind of ways of, you know, killing the creature fast. So, you want to grab it, you want to kill it, but it also has a... Uh, it also has a stun mechanism into it, so I need to realize that it has electricity inside of it. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it inside of the butt. So it's going to be in the back side. It's going to be in the bottom side of the creature. Which is a stun thing, so I want to make sure that I have like a rechargeable kind of stun. So I'm going to put it inside of the bag that stores the energy, and then when it gets threatened, it will live. It will lit up all its feathers, and then fires an electric bolt or something like that, you know, that kind of stuff. Or, you know, its its feathers are content, uh, content, contenting, because it's a magical creature, and it's in the description, so I need to make sure it can do it. So, yeah, that's, that's all for now. The only downside is, that's all for now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's take a look now, because I filled up the area, and now you can see what happens. It happens again. It looks way better. I also need to make sure that I have more sharpened, uh, feather sap. But, um, I think I'm gonna call it for now, because of the, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, it's almost one hour in and twelve minutes. And I'm thinking that I my hand needs a break, otherwise my hand will break, because, you know, that's how intense this gets. Because everything here is handmade, like, every single thing has been handmade, and that's, like, really, really painful for your hand. Because you need to do all these motions, so up and down and back and again, you know, that old stuff. So, um, I'm gonna call it here a day. But uh, thanks all for coming. And uh, Blue, if you really want to have have a draw, if you really want to uh, draw with me one day on a stream, or well, if you want to draw with with each other on a stream, you know, whatever, the other way around, for making anime girls or whatever, I'm 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 fine and open for it. So uh, I hope you all have a lovely day. And uh, thanks for watching. And until the next time.